welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders 2. We are currently in the illusion that is Middenhall, at least I think that's what this area is called. But we're supposed to be in hell itself. But as you can see, it looks lovely and looks nothing like hell itself. So I'm really excited to explore this place and find out like what exactly the villagers are going through and hopefully just learn more about how this place was created that would be really awesome so hopefully i can go and talk to this yeah we're gonna go talk to this big like ogre troll looking guy over here i remember i spoke to him last time i was so confused when i came here before so it's really cool to get some insight as to actually what's going on this is really awesome to to see all right dude hello this place is so pretty pity it all go away soon very sad but i stay till end we all stay is rule is how things must be this makes a lot more sense now he said that before i think but now that i have a bit of like context i actually understand him a little bit more than before <laughs> so that's cool all right oh um hello <laughs> i just dropped okay gadzooks look at the size of that castle it does look awesome it was a little bit destroyed though i do wonder why it was still a little bit destroyed even like like in the illusion it's a bit strange like there was parts of it that were still crumbled you would think if this was an illusion that they would make it perfect but um apparently not it's certainly very impressive but what in the world is it doing here well it's not real <laughs> of course <laughs> so that's why well there is only one way to find out forward alrighty let's go and see what's going on what's that <gasps> what are you are you sit whoa you were like a chat i don't remember that being there last time did i completely walk past that last time it's a special item a comfy killer pillar head how interesting that's actually really cool oh my god we got the recipe for it as well it's kind of ugly though i have to say it's like an ugly cute thing it's really weird the surmounting segment of a snug sofa shaped like a lethal lava Alrighty, awesome um i want to just like take another look at it yeah like isn't that like ugly cute like for real that's weird i love how she sits on it as well she like sits cross-legged on it as well which is really awesome i love that that's actually really cool that's a cool little find i like that all right we're definitely gonna keep that weird looking chair <laughs> Not really my favourite kind of chair in this game, but like, it's cool, it's cool to find new stuff for sure. Alright dude, hello, how are you doing? Looks so lovely from far away, can see all of lovely Renderak and all of lovely Middenhall Castle too. If you want to know truth, you must look closer, but if you do, it not look so lovely anymore. Yeah, I am sure it won't look lovely after we've you know dispelled the illusion i wonder how we're gonna do that maybe there is like some magician or something casting it is that a cave over there i don't know i don't remember seeing this last time actually let's go and check this out because this is interesting i never even noticed this little area before actually oh and it goes all the way down here i didn't even see this when i was visiting the castle last time there's a like oh it's a little dungeon area hey dude how are you doing what bringeth you to the dungeon sire nary a single never do well is to be found within its walls in these days of peace <laughs> you wish <laughs> a peace for which we give thanks unto hargon our benefactor and savior praise be unto him Right, you guys need to wake up and smell the coffee, I say. <laughs> Is there anything in here? No? Okay then. Well, alright then. Well, it's cool that we found like a little extra place here because I didn't even find this last time I was here. So that's really cool. Oh, it's just by the little treasure chest. I did come into this little area of the treasure chest, but obviously I didn't go that way then. So I guess we need to speak to the king or something? Everyone in this castle is acting jolly peculiar. What in the world is wrong with them? They all have the same dull, vacant stare, as though they're enraptured by some sort of vision. It's the same vision you're seeing too, 
right, Jerome? I'm sure. Our mission remains the same. We need to find the Orb of Heroes. Let us press on inside the castle and continue the search. Right, let's do this. I wonder what's down here. Did I ever look down here? I feel like this would be a good place to hide like secret items and stuff. No. Oh. <laughs> Well, you never know, so it was worth looking for sure. All right, so let's go talk to the king and see what he says this time. He didn't say much last time. He said something about, like, a prince. They were talking about a prince last time I was here, so I'm kind of curious about that. Ho, 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 ho! Welcome home! I had begun to fear that thy company had come to grief in an attempt to slay Hargon, about whom we were so mistaken. Right, he said this before. And thou art returned unharmed. Verily, it is further proof of Hargon's mercy. As a brother did he greet me, and fully glad do I serve him. Pray, forget the quest which I did entrust to thee. Twas folly to entreat thee to... Twas folly... Folly... Is he broken? Um, are you alright? Folly, 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 folly. Oh, dude, the king is broken. Oh, God, somebody fix him. Oh, the king himself was an illusion. Oh, was the whole, even the villagers were illusions? I guess that makes sense. Gadzooks, they just disappeared. They weren't real either. I actually thought the villagers were real, actually. I didn't even think that they would be part of the illusion. But I suppose that makes sense too, I guess. All right then, so what happened to the citizens of this place? Are they all dead, do you think? Just as these puppets ceased to exist, soon so too shall you. It is your destiny, as it is ours. All right, let's do this. Let's, let's fight. All things, be they illusions or be they lies, must come to an end. None can say when this annihilation will come, but one thing is for certain, there is no escape. The day of destruction approaches and none can escape it. Dun dun dun. All right, let's go, my friends. What the dickens are you prattling on about, fiend? Speak some sense. Allow me to explain it in more simple terms. This castle was created by almighty Hargon and now it will be your grave. All right, let's go. I am ready. I'm ready for some action. Gadzooks to arms, everyone. Let's go. Ah, oh, stop talking. <laughs> At long last, the hated humans shall fall. It's like, I'm like getting pumped up and ready and then they just keep talking. <laughs> Except for you, my most faithful disciple. You have proven yourself one of us. Come, take your rightful place at my side. Oh, are they going to? Wait, Warwick? What? I should have known. I should have known. I didn't trust him this whole time. Those deadpan eyes, I knew. Oh my god, I've and he tried to make us think it was Anessa. Wow, I should have known. I literally didn't trust his eyes. Like, I literally did not trust him from day one. And it was the deadpan eyes. It just felt like he had, like, no emotion compared to the other characters. I don't know, maybe it's just me overthinking it. But to think that he was the traitor this whole time and I, like, didn't like him from day one. That's just really weird. It was like... I instinctively knew or something. <laughs> I had a feeling it wouldn't be Anessa. I don't know, it just seemed, she just seemed too good, too, too nice. But I suppose the nice ones always turn out to be the traitors, I guess. Warwick, you, how could this be? How dare you? How dare you trick me, deadpan eyes? <laughs> To fracture friendships, weaken the military, and ensure the construction of the Kazapal cannon, that it might eventually fall into the monster's hands. That was my mission, and though I encountered many difficulties along the way, I have finally achieved my every aim. You horrible, horrible monster! Listen to that laugh. You horrible fiend. Let's take him down. Let's do this. It was you. This whole time, you were the spy among our ranks. But why, Warwick? Why would you betray us like this? You, you traitor. A traitor? Me? Huh. You are the ones who betrayed all I believed in. I am the only man of Moonbrook who holds true to the children of Hargon's teachings. Not like you, faithless curs. But, like, what about your hometown and everything? Like, wasn't his hometown, like, destroyed and he was, like, super upset? Like, was that all fake? I, I don't know. 
so confused. <laughs> you have done well, Warwick, and just as you were promised, you shall be rewarded. Come, join us as a monster. <gasps> Wait, what? Really? They're going to turn him into a monster? Is that what he wanted? He wanted to be a monster? Yes, finally! Finally, I have attained monsterhood! Thank you! Eek, eek, eek! Thank you! Why would you want that, though? I'm so confused. Oh my god. Wah ha 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 ha! Fly, my pretty! Tear these traitors limb from limb! Bathe in the blood of the Builder and her pathetic companions! <laughs> oh man! Warwick and the Rector. The traitor and his hateful minions. Oh right, I'm gonna go for you first, Warwick, because you deserve to die first. <laughs> How could you do that? Oh my god, I'm so surprised. Like, I really, I don't know, I always had this feeling, but I was like, nah. Like, I thought it was just me. I thought I was just, I don't know, I thought I was just being judgmental or something. But it actually turns out it was him. That's so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay then, well, uh, well, at least we know who the traitor is now. And I am really hungry and I have absolutely no food at all and that sucks so bad because i was not prepared and this is my own fault so um i'm actually gonna have to rely on my villagers to do this <laughs> all right i'm gonna quit my flag because uh this is clearly not gonna work here because uh, i obviously can't even attack so this really sucks i can do like one attack every like half an hour <laughs> so i guess i will just do that <laughs> Well, uh, Warwick, oh no, Warwick's still alive. we got to take him down. I think he's going to be one tough cookie to, to take down. I wish I could just, like, teleport out and, like, get some food or something. <laughs> but I can't. I can't, like, teleport out mid-battle. Do you think I can take the thrones? I'll just take the thrones while you, while you guys are fighting. I'll do something else, because, like, I'm not going to contribute much to the fight, to be honest with you. <laughs> I really didn't think that my hunger meter was that low. I didn't even realise. My bad, my bad. All right, that's another one down. Luckily, we've got the army. I literally don't know what I would do without this army right now because I am so worthless at the moment. But that's okay. Oh, this guy's trying to hit me, but that's fine. All right, awesome. That's that guy down. We just got to take this one down over here. Go, 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 Anessa. I'm sorry I ever su suspected you, Anessa. I feel really bad now. <laughs> All right, awesome. Just two more to go. Oh, no, and Warwick. Warwick actually seems quite strong. He's still alive. I hope you wrapped up warm. I can't believe you are. You actually wanted to become a monster as well. Like, why would you want to cast off your humanity like that? That's pretty insane, I have to say. All right, go. Take down that traitor. Take down that horrible Warwick. Go, go, go. I'm still curious about who the... There, there was like another person talking to to like... You know when we had that little cutscene where the, there was a person talking to like the evil guy? Um, maybe that was Warwick, but I don't know. I get the feeling it was somebody else. I could be wrong though. I have no idea, honestly. I have no clue. I really wonder who that was because... I don't know, unless it was Atlas himself, but I get the feeling it was like someone else, but I really don't know. I guess I'll just have to continue with the story to find out, but I'm definitely very curious about what's going on for sure. All right, let's do this. Let's go. So close. Yes, all my plans ruined. What did you expect? Did you really think you could fight us and win? <laughs> Phew, I thought they had us for a moment there, but somehow we pulled through. Awesome, cool. Warwick, Warwick! But why Anessa? He was a traitor! Don't listen to his dying words. <laughs> eek, eek, this world, this lie, it cannot last. It matters not who wins this accursed war. We will all die, every one of us. Why? What lie? What are you talking about, Warwick? One day, eek, eek, I realised this is all an illusion. I tried to speak with his majesty. I pleaded with him, eek, but he refused to listen. What do you mean? Why is everyone gonna die? Is there like a meteor coming to hit us or something? <laughs> I don't know. That is when the rector came to me. He said he would save me from death. Eek, 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 if I could earn it. When Moti arrived and rang that bell, eek, I saw then that my chance had come. 
my opportunity to prove myself worthy. You silly, silly person, you. Warwick, you... Why didn't you believe in us? You should have believed in the power of the builders. <laughs> the children of Hargon are eek, absolute, and so is my belief. I would die to protect their teachings. Why? I don't get it. I know you, Anessa. You never believed. You spoke of heartfelt convictions and sacred duties, but it was all a lie. Eek, eek. I like how he's still eking even on his deathbed. I have failed, and so shall you. No human can stand against almighty Atlas. Struggle if you wish. You will all perish in the end. You don't know that. Eek, 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 eek. Hail Hargon. I'm dead. <laughs> Warwick, Warwick. Good riddance. I didn't like him anyway. <laughs> yes, down with the traitor. Down with Warwick. Hmm? Look, Malsey, the rector still breathes, and it looks as if he is carrying something. Oh, don't mind if I do. I will just take that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's see what he's got going on in here, hidden away in his pockets. <laughs> well fought, humans. It seems I underestimated you. I'm surprised you can still laugh, like, when you're, like, dying. <laughs> but no matter. Doomsday draws near. Doomsday. They've mentioned this a few times. Something is happening. They must have some kind of weapon or something. This world of illusion shall soon cease to be. If only I could have destroyed you by my own hand before that day came to pass. Still, it would seem that victory shall yet be ours. Pathetic humans, were you truly fool enough to rally your whole army behind this builder? It seems you were. <laughs> so your castle is practically undefended. You may be but an illusion, but you shall all be slain nonetheless. <laughs> I find it funny it was midway through laughing. I, I cannot fathom it. What in the world happened here? Is this castle just an illusion? Are we... Are we illusions? I'm so confused. Gadzooks! Multi, look what he dropped! Could it be? What is it? Is it a flower? What is it? Oh, it's the Orb of Heroes. Of course. Of course. I completely forgot our whole objective. Like, the story just got, like, really um, interesting there that I just completely forgot. <laughs> It is the Orb of Heroes. It seems our expedition was a success. Awesome. But at what cost? The Rector's final words about our castle's defences do not sit well with me one bit. Yeah, it was a really bad idea to leave it unguarded like that. Forgive me, I was a million miles away. The Rector spoke of Moonbrook's defences. That does not bode well at all. We must return to the castle without delay. Oh boy, this does not sound good, guys. All right, let's 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 do this. I was actually expecting the illusion to break. And I was actually really looking forward to seeing what this area actually is supposed to look like. I don't know, it still might break, but um, I was kind of hoping to see that. <laughs> well, we'll see. Time to return and hope that the king is still okay. It was a really bad idea to leave this place unguarded, but okay. Oh boy. Yep, this was a bad idea. Gadzooks, the castle is in danger. Was this all part of Warwick and the Rector's plan? Quickly, Multi, we must go to the people's defence. All right, let's go. Also, there was also one thing that was um, making me think that it was maybe not Anessa, but at the same time, I almost thought she might have been role-playing because as we were going through each area, she was actually like almost encouraging us to go towards our goal. She was like, yeah, let's go and get the the um, the hero's artifact and yeah, let's go get the uh, power gem and all that stuff, the, all the stuff that we were doing. And she was like almost encouraging us. I was like thinking, well, she could be role playing, but it makes sense now. <laughs> Underhanded fiends, is this the work of that traitor Warwick? Did he tell the monsters that the castle was undefended? That makes a lot of sense. If we move swiftly, the castle can still be saved. Hurry, Mossy, we must slay these dragons post haste. All right, let's do this. Um, but I kind of have no food items. <laughs> 
So I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'll try. Hopefully I can like, I don't know, go into my base and like make some food or something. The dread dragon. Dun dun dun. Does this mean he is stronger than the normal dragons? I wonder. I really hope I can make some food because this is going to be extremely difficult without any food items for sure. We'll, we'll see though. <laughs> I'm not gonna have very much luck for sure, but we'll see. Oh look, 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 someone's been cooking. No! Someone destroyed my kitchen. It's like they knew. It's like they knew what, what I was trying to do. <laughs> that sucks so bad. Wait, wait, I might be able to just like cook on my own. Let me see. If I can just get a fireplace out or something. Let me see what I've got here. Let's see what I can work with. Alright, fireplace. If we just like whack this down here and then I'm just going to see if I can just plonk some materials, anything, literally just anything, just cook, go, go, go and we'll cook that and um, we'll get fighting whilst that's cooking and hopefully that will help us so we can actually like do stuff, that would be nice. Alright, I'm going to equip this and um, make my people attack stuff, that would be awesome. Alright, go peoples, go! This is a lot of enemies, but hopefully it will be okay. Alright, I'm going to take this and whilst this is going on, we're going to make some stuff because I am so low right now, but that's okay, that's alright. I'm just glad I can actually cook like in amongst the battle so that is awesome oh my god my base is so going to get destroyed right now how did he even get on that wall i'm surprised he even managed to get up there well this is going to be some task is the king okay i haven't actually seen him is he all right is he in the throne room perhaps maybe he got away maybe he escaped before it actually started i have no idea i don't know i feel like the king might be more important than I realise. Maybe Hargon wants him. Oh, he's there. Oh, I didn't even see you. Hello. Well, at least he's safe. At least I know he's safe. I don't know. I just get the feeling he's got hostage written all over his face. <laughs> I get the feeling that Hargon like, might want him or something. But I might be wrong. I don't know. I'm just, just I don't know, theorising, I guess you could say. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's get these stupid guys down. I really hope they fix all this because this is a lot of destruction in my castle and I really don't want to fix all of this because this is a lot to fix. All right, there's that one down. There's just the dread dragon left and he's actually been hurt a lot. Oh, there's a little monster over there too, but that's okay. That's fine. We got this. Go, go, go. All right, that one's down. Now it's just a dra dragon. And he's nearly dead as well, so that's awesome. I wonder if Malroth is okay as well. Maybe they came for Malroth. Maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. So many different things that it could be. But we saved the castle, so that's awesome. Victory is ours, and hopefully everyone is okay. We will see, though. Multi, yes? How are you doing, Anessa? <laughs> we won! We have saved Moonbrook from destruction! Yay! Oh, Multi, my lamb, you saved us all! Goddess be praised! I knew you would come back for us! When those loathsome lizards turned up, I thought my time was finally up, that the dinner bell was ringing once more. Thank goodness you got here when you did, so we arrived just in the nick of time, thank God. Well done, soldiers of Moonbrick. Not only did you return to slay the dragons that assaulted us, but you did so with the orb of heroes in hand. Oh yes we did, awesome, but it seems not all of you are accounted for. What has become of dear Warwick? Do you really want to know? <laughs> Multi, before we begin to explain that ugly business, let us first turn our minds to the state of the castle. Oh, thank you. Those dashed dragons certainly did a number on our defences. Yes, they did. Look, there's like a whole area gone. <laughs> You may leave the repairs. Oh, thank God that he's repairing it. I was a little worried because that was a lot more than usual. Like there was a lot more destroyed than usual. So I was a little worried about that. So that is awesome. Yes, everything is fixed and everything is back to the way it should be. So that's cool. Apart from like the kitchen, I guess, like I should probably move this into the kitchen, of course. So that is 
classes as a kitchen well it should be all right it's still classing i think so that's good all right let's turn this quest in the king has gone walkabouts so i kind of need to find him quickly all right here he is come back come back come back why do they always run like every single time do i smell or something <laughs> i see so young warwick was the traitor among us he was indeed unfortunately he was so afeard of death that he was prepared to do anything to escape it, even side with the monsters against his own kind. Yeah, that sucks, but I guess uh, that's a normal thing to be scared of death. Anessa, I think it is time that you told his majesty the truth. The truth? Is she hiding something? That from the very beginning, you have never subscribed to the teachings of the children of Hargon. Oh, right, that. What? I mean, is that surprising? <laughs> Their teachings suck. <laughs> Multi, from the moment you made that antidotal herb and saved my life, I realised that our chance to defeat the children of Hargon had finally come. However, even at that time, I held suspicions that enemy spies had infiltrated our ranks. I had to hide my true allegiances. She's very clever. Anessa has been committed to overthrowing the monster's rule since long before you arrived in Moonbrook. That is why she sent me to infiltrate their army. Ah, I wanted to tell you the truth, Malsi, but when you recovered the wizard's workstation, something his majesty said gave me pause. Hmm, okay, the enemy have eyes everywhere. Oh, I see. Did I say those words? I meant nothing profound by them, I assure you. I must admit, you had me completely fooled. I mean, that's good because, you know, she might have stopped Warwick in some ways by, by doing what she did, but I don't know. There is something else, your majesty. Before Warwick passed, he said something about our world being a lie, though I know not what he meant by it. Yeah, that was weird. I see. Mayhap he thought that by betraying his own and joining with the monsters, the truth would be revealed to him. I don't know, I feel like there's something else going on here. Multi, I wish to learn more of what transpired in Renderak. Come, I must speak with you alone. Right, okay. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to give us our next mission. How now, Malti? Ah, it seems you have consumed the extra dew I provided you with. Oh yeah, I completely forgot he, he gave those out. So he's going to give us another one, so that's actually really nice. For quite some time, I have devoted myself to reading everything of Moonbrook's history and attempting to put together my scattered memories. And now, based on your account of what you saw in Renderak, I believe I have arrived at a theory. Okay, do tell. Though perhaps this is not not the most fitting place for such discussions. Come, Mosi, follow me. Okay then, let's go, lead the way. Into the throne room, I suppose. Is this gonna be a long tale? I have a feeling it might be. To hear you say it, Renderak was not so much a hell as it was a heaven. Yes, it was the complete opposite of what the king said it was going to be. It was strange. So does that mean that Moonbrook is an illusion too? Or I don't know, is there? I'm confused. Maybe it will tell us. It seems that this world is not the one you once knew, nor the one of which only fragments remain in my clouded memories. Could this be some manner of parallel reality, an ultimate dimension, or perhaps no more than an illusion conjured by one who yet resides in the real world? This is getting really confusing. <laughs> Whatever the case, I suspect that this world was created to serve a purpose, and if it is true that the illusion will soon fade, perhaps that purpose is close to being fulfilled. Don't tell me all the people of Moonbrook are illusions, I would be so disappointed like I like the characters here. Warwick was convinced that this world was a lie and would one day be reduced to oblivion. In his desperation to be spared this fate he joined forces with the monsters. If only I had listened to him, if only I had offered him a warm embrace, not a cold shoulder. As his king he was my responsibility and I failed him. Oh, bless him. But you can't be responsible for every single person. Like, you can't stop people from from doing silly things, you know? I don't think that was the king's fault. Malsi, I have but one question I want you to answer. 
In the world you knew, what became of my daughter? Does the princess lead a safe and happy life? Or I have no idea. <laughs> that is a relief. I may have failed as a king, but at least I did not fail as a father. Oh, he's crying. Bless him. All right, I wonder where this is going to go. Multi, one matter still puzzles me. You are not a part of this land of illusion. You came here from the real world, but for what purpose? If it was not by mere chance that you wandered into this world, but you were summoned, then your presence here may have a more profound meaning than you realise. Hmm, okay. Multi, I have made up my mind. I will see the children of Hargon defeated, even if our reality should crumble the very next day. So, does that mean if we defeat Hargon, that the people of Moonbrook are going to disappear? Are they already dead? I don't know, I'm confused. Time grows short. We must complete the Kazapal Cannon without delay. Okay, I suppose. I suppose we'll continue with that then i guess um i just have to put the the little orb inside the tower and then i think it's complete so um that's cool but wow what an episode i really enjoyed today's episode actually so much went on and um it was really interesting we found out warwick's the traitor and um there's all this talk of like parallel worlds and like illusions and stuff and i am a little bit confused as to what's going on here like are they saying that moonbrook is also an illusion like the whole of this world is an illusion if so does that mean we're not gonna bring anyone back to the isle of awakening because i thought that was the whole point of coming here but i don't know exactly what's gonna happen here i have no idea i guess we'll just have to wait and find out but i'm really excited actually that was awesome I just want to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreons. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. It really helps me out. And if you are interested in supporting the channel, there will be a link to my Patreon in the description. It's only $1 a month to gain access. And I am currently uploading exclusive anime review videos only on Patreon. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you next time.